Hi, it's Patsy and I'm back to do a hashtag. Um, I saw this one on Dark Fade Tarot um, last week, I think it was. I think it's been going around a little while. It's hashtag last 10 decks. I believe it started off as a book tag, um, but um, Jonathan Daly um, changed the thingy to the last 10 decks. So I've come on to do it. I'll try and be as quick as possible to get through all these decks. If there's any decks you want me to sort of do a further walk through or discussion on just give me a shout so the first one is um something that i re-brought it's the mystic fairy tarot this one's just as small just the cards it isn't the big box set i did originally have the big box set this is by linda ravenscroft um i did have the big box set but i was finding that i wasn't really using it but these last few months i've been doing is the bags doing a um lot of in-depth work with the Fae energy. I mean, I've always loved the Fae and what have you, but I've been delving a bit deeper into the folklore and what have you. And I thought I would get this one back, try it again. And I, I am really enjoying it. It'll definitely stay in my collection this time. Um, I don't know what it was about it before, why I didn't keep it. I don't know if because all the suits are sort of like tell a story, so all very similar, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely little deck. It's um, a Llewellyn deck, so it's Llewellyn cardstock, but I like Llewellyn cardstock, so it doesn't doesn't worry me. But this is a, a pretty little deck, and um, I am enjoying having this back in my collection and been using it quite often. So, yeah, it's lovely. So there we go. So that's number 10. This was bought... This is like the furthest away that I bought it. I'll go, you know, the number one will be my latest one. I'll do it in that order. So that is my number 10. Next to show you is this one, the Universal Tarot. This one is a Lace Garabeo, and I absolutely adore this deck. I saw it on Giselle's Mad Witches channel. There's the back. And um, she was showing this um, on one of her videos and it intrigued me. So I went ahead and I ordered it. it it's very, um, they call it this um, fantasy deck. But to me, it's very fey as well. It's a very fey style deck. Um, it's not particularly an RWS clone. It kind of deviates away from that. And I do like that. Um, to have some decks that do that, you know, because it gives you a different perspective. It gives you something to kind of um, study and build on um, with the tarot. So, yeah, I do like to get decks like this as well. And like I said, this is gorgeous. I'm, I'm using this every day at the minute to do my daily pull. I pull three cards a day on my stand and... Um, that's how I get to know a lot of new decks, what aren't strictly RWS. So this is what I'm doing with this one. I have been doing for the last few weeks, two, three weeks, I think now. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. It's one of those decks that I'm really glad that I saw and put into my collection. So the next one is a Oracle deck. Now, um, as I said, I've been working with the Fae Energy and um, I saw this one. It's a fairy magic message cards, affirmation cards with instructions for use, um, Sharon McCloyd, or McLeod, whatever you want to say that. On these, you don't get a book because you don't need one. You just need a card there because the messages are on the back. It's one of those decks. But this is a cute deck. A bit shiny. Cardstock's nice. It's a thick cardstock quite thick you know but but it is shiny um like i say it's a little affirmation deck you get a little message um like this one queen mab drink deeply from the well of memories now is a time to go within and honor your ancestors reconnect with the old ways and align them with your new ways this beautiful fairy queen asks you to celebrate the cycles of life and bask under the full moon and the affirmation is, I am made of stars. I celebrate the cycles of life. So that's what you kind of get on the back. And it's it's a lovely little deck. It's, it's one of those that you just pull throughout the day whenever you, oh, you know, I'll, I'll pull a card. 
and see what the message is for me. And that's what I've been doing with this. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm loving the little images. They're so cute. Yeah. So that is that one. That's number seven. So that is the Fairy Magic message cards. Um, and that's by AD Publishing, Animal Dreaming Publishing. So there we go. So then the next one I did do a walkthrough of. Um, it's Tower of the Enchanted Gardens. Um, a deck by Rosanna Pala. Um, it's a low scarabeo in one of those boxes where it comes from the top. I won't show too many of these because I have that's the backs. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This it's very fay, very beautiful. The colours are very subtle. Um, and that little sort of border around it doesn't sort of interfere with anything. In fact, I think it's quite needed because when you do lay them out, because it's a busy deck, it is quite a busy spread if you're using sort of like, I, I like to do a nine, nine card box. Um, it can look quite busy. So you do need that little bit of black edging, I think, to kind of split them up. But it reads really well. The card stock's lovely. The images are gorgeous. And yeah, a lovely deck. So that is that one. So that is number six. No, yeah, six. So I can't count one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that, <clears throat> I've done four. So this one is... I'm getting confused now. We'll go up, just go on to the next one. Now this one, um, yeah, this is number five, isn't it? Yeah, so this is number five. Um, I bought this one, um, I saw it on, I can't remember what I saw it, I saw it on some channel and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. The Fine Horde Spirit Oracle Cards, um, it's by FindHordePress.com, or Swan Treasure. Um, it's very similar to um, the soul cards. The, it's the same kind of artwork that that um, is on the soul cards. It has got a name, isn't it? What's it called? Da, 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 da. Uh, no, I can't see where it's where it says, but it is it is that kind of artwork. And I got it. Um, I'm still on the fence about this one. I'm not sure what I think. I mean, it's it's pretty. And you get like a little message, you know, fulfillment, engage yourself fully. There are no second chances. Um, and then you get a bit in the book sort of continues with that message. Maybe I just haven't spent enough time with it because I've had quite a few new decks all kind of coming in at once that I really haven't had much chance. I've not really been drawn to this one, to be honest. Um, but there is a nice little book with it. Now, where is it? It says in the back, um, there is a write-up by um, about the author and the artist. Uh, Swan is a catalyst for transformation of art, a writer and a mentor. She walks between the worlds. Her life is dedicated to raising human consciousness through to creative spirituality. Um, so, and then there is a bit of a write up there about touch drawing. That's what it is, a touch drawing. And there is a bit by Deborah Koff Chapin from the um, Soul Cards. So, like I said, I probably just need to spend some more time with that because I really haven't spent too much time. I've pulled a couple of cards, but I've not really been drawn to it. So nothing on the deck, I don't think. It's probably just me that I just haven't spent much time with it and I really probably just need to. But at the minute, I'm just not drawn to it. It will come in, I'm sure. So the next one is Celtic Dragon Tarot by DJ Conway and Lisa Hunt. This is the big box. You get such a big book there. I love Lisa, um, Lisa Hunt's work. And I hadn't got this one and I saw this come up. Um, so I thought, yes, I need to get that one. I've got quite a few of her decks and I do love her artwork. 
And again, she's one of those um, artists that in a tarot deck, very often she's not an RWS clone. So you really have to kind of study the images and work with the images. Um, since I've got this, I've used it a few times to do some read a couple of readings and I love it. I mean, it, it's a gorgeous deck, but I think it's one of those that I want to spend more time with. And when I finish working with the Universal um, Fantasy one, then this is the one that I'll be getting out to do my three day, three cards a day draw. Um, once I finish using that one, this one will come out and I'll be using it a lot more then. But I love this. I love this deck. And it is a Llewellyn, so it's normal Llewellyn card stock. Um, so you know what you're getting, but it is in one of those big boxes with the big that you need to find room for. So the next one is this one, and I'm loving this one. This is the Women of Myth Oracle deck by Maria Sophia Mermanides. Guidance and insight from the divine and diverse feminine. And this is by Adams Media. Never heard of them, but this deck is beautiful. It's, it's a really lovely deck to work with, that's the backs. The cards come in three different, let me see if I can show you three different sections that they come in. You get, first off you get the goddesses, so you get cards with um, the goddess, the name of the goddess and a key word, like this one is the wheel. So you get a section of those, then you get a section of the heroine and that's these purpley colours. So th that is a section on the heroine, then you get a section of the monsters. Um, and again, you get them in that list, blue colour. So there are three sections. Um, I'll show you some more of them. Got your Baba Yaga there. And obviously she's under the monsters. At, uh, a lot of these I haven't even heard of. And I, I believe there is a book, um, a big book. But you don't have to have this because the little book is good enough. But if you wanted to delve deeper into these goddesses and that that these cards are depicting there is a, a big book that you can get alongside it but you don't need it it's not not needed but if it's something you wanted to look deeper into then it is I mean this deck has got so many different goddesses and that that I'd never even heard of um it just is really really good I mean the book is perfectly good enough you get um a bit about all the things that you know you get quite a lot of spreads in this um but you get her story so you get a little bit about the goddess you get the card meaning and then her advice from you know from that particular card so i'm using this daily at the minute um i'm really enjoying working with that and that is something that uh, will definitely be staying and i'm definitely enjoying working with let's put that over here so we've got three left so the next one is a tarot. Now this is Le Taro, El Tarot de los Magos. So it's um, wizard tarot um, that is in Spanish because when I tried to get it in English version, it's out of print and it was well over a hundred pounds to buy. This is by, um, no, I can't remember her name. It's not, it comes in a big box in something the weather um, but this is the Italian version for the simple reason not Italian Spanish version but for the simple reason that the English version was just so expensive but it's so WRWS that it really makes no difference and um, you don't need to be able to speak Spanish I mean the book is really good when you see it in English it's got a lot of um information about the stars and the system and what have you but um obviously mine's in spanish but if i wanted to i could get the google translate but i can't read too great anyway and this is so rws you don't need the the name of them because you know what they are straight away it's not like they deviate from the rws and it's you left wondering what they are so 
it doesn't matter to me. And I've been using this dock, dock deck a lot lately since receiving it. And it reads really well. It's a lovely deck. Doesn't matter if it's not English. There's the backs of them. Cad stock's okay. It, it, the edges feel a bit, bit rough. Um, but it shuffles well and it's good card stock. It's not too flimsy. It pings back and what have you. So yeah. So this is one I'm really enjoying working with at the minute. So that's one what is one of the newer ones in my collection and I am thoroughly enjoying working with that. Like I said, it is the Spanish version, but it doesn't matter. Next one, this is the Witch's Moon Magic Oracle Cards. Oh, I should have opened this box before because it is quite a tight box to get open, but I think that's because it's the box is shiny, it's quite um, shiny and it tends to stick. This is by Flavia P uh, Kate Peters and Barbara Michael John Tree. So this is designed by Kate Osborne. That's the backs and again the cards are that shiny finish. But these cards are gorgeous. I love these cards. The images are beautiful. You get the ma uh, the moon on there with a keyword. Like this one is drawing down the moon, empowerment. Dark side of the moon, unforeseen. Just shame about that glare because of the shiny cardstock. I've been using this daily since I've got it. I've only had it a few days. Um, but it's, it's lovely, it is, it is lovely. And I'm enjoying working with this. There is spreads within the um, the little book, I think. Um, yeah, a moon magic spread. So there is a moon magic spread and that's what you get in the book. You get black and white and then um, moon guidance and moon magic for each card. So yeah, so that is that one and I'm enjoying working with that. It has got silver gilding around the edges. Um, I've only had that a few days, but I'm enjoying working with it. But like I said, one thingy, it, because of that box being so shiny, it is a bit hard to get it on and off, but over time that will loosen. So the last deck that came into my collection was one that I pre-ordered as soon as I knew it was going mass market. I loved it as an indie deck, um, The Unfolding Path by Athene Noctua. This one, you've all seen this one, I have no doubts. Um, so I have, I love that inside the star card. I, I pre-ordered this as soon as I was able to, and I've been using it. And it is everything that I thought it was going to be. It is beautiful. A more modern, up-to-date tarot style, um, and it's gorgeous. The artwork is gorgeous, and I've been using this a lot. I've been doing spreads with it, and um, since I've got it, um, and just playing with it, and just laying out cards, and just seeing how it kind of all looks together and what have you. And yeah, it's lovely. I'm not disappointed at all in this. And I know that side by sides, there isn't no changes from the independent one. So that's, so that's lovely. And yeah, that's, it's, it's a gorgeous deck. What can you say about it? And there's so many walkthroughs of this about, I don't need to show you too many of those. Uh, but that's the last one, what came into my collection. So that is the last 10, what we've come in, um, and all of them that I love. Um, the only one I'm not so sure on is this one, but that's probably because I just need to work with it more. But all the others are, are sort of like, yeah, they, they will definitely be staying in my collection. So that is my last 10 buys. Um, I've loved watching what other people's are. So if you've done, done this tag, um, pop it below and I'll come and see it in case I've missed yours. And I will see you all soon. Bye.